happens when your mum has a baby. <laughs> she goes into the hospital and the doctor says, this way, madam, and he puts her in a box like what dead people go in. <laughs> then he breaks her leg so that the baby can be born out properly. <laughs> then your mum has a drink to make her sleepy and it is, um, yeah, I think it is beer. <laughs> and then the doctor does look with the dinocleus. <laughs> and the baby says, I'm ready! <laughs> and the doctor does pull it out with the big tweezers. <laughs> then the doctor does hold the baby upside down for to make it sick. <laughs> and then he does measure it with the ruler. And when a baby is born out, it is only one inch big. <laughs> with a centimetre on it. <laughs> And if you're allowed to hold the baby, you must be very, very careful. <laughs> because the baby's head is not properly sewed on to the rest of it. <laughs> and it might drop off and roll on the ground and a dog might eat it. <laughs> and your mum will be really cross. <laughs> and her face will go blue. <laughs> then it is time for the baby's tea from your mum's bosom. <laughs> and it has, um, special cake. cake and orange juice. But the baby is not allowed to see your mum's bosom. And that is why a baby's eyes do not open for two years. <laughs> and when you are holding the baby, then you must be careful not to pinch it, because your mum would not like you any more. So you must never pinch the baby. <laughs> or punch it! <laughs> because the baby needs the nose. <laughs> so when it is grown up and does the smelling. <laughs> so you must love the baby all of the time. Yes, you must. It's true! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>